Hi, I'm Rachel, and I'm here to do these short stories on BookTube Tag. I found this a few weeks ago on Steve Donahue's channel, and I believe it was started by Josh at Literary Gladiators, so I'll link their videos down below. Steve decided to focus his uh, selection on science fiction stories, and I decided to take a page out of his book, so to speak. I'm not focusing on science fiction, but um, this month of May, which is just ending, happens to be uh, both uh, International Short Story Month and Jewish American Heritage Month. And in fact, for the past couple of years, I've uh, sort of made a uh, hybrid blog post about those two things, basically where I pick out uh, short story collections by Jewish American authors and I write about them. So I'll link to my latest one down below. But I thought in the spirit of this tag, I would uh, go ahead and and continue that uh, focus onto these questions. So I'll be looking at my phone where I've uh, jotted down uh, my answers, and uh, here we go. Question number one is, do you read and write short stories or just read short stories? And I both read and write short stories, but I kind of got into writing short stories by accident. I always meant to write novels because, you know, I've been writing since I was a kid, and generally speaking, the novel is what everyone gravitates toward, and so I was always trying to write one, but I always found that I ran out of plot. <laughs> and my stories just uh, kept getting smaller and smaller, meaning that I'd start with a novel, or some approximation of it, and I'd be snipping away and snipping away to get at the actual meat of the story, and finally it would turn into a short story. And that's happened at least a couple of times. And now I'm trying to officially write short stories, like from the off. And it's kind of been a learning curve. <laughs> i got to figure out how to actually approach this subject head on. <laughs> Question number two is, what is your favorite short story? That's certainly too definitive for me to answer. But of late, I've been thinking about a short story in this collection, The Un-Americans by Molly Antipole. I recently reread it uh, for the second time for my book club. And I've been thinking about, my grandmother tells me a story. It's a uh, story told uh, in second person, more or less. It's uh, told to a you uh, by the grandmother to her uh, granddaughter. And it discusses her uh, experience of uh, being a resistance fighter during the Holocaust. She was able to sneak out of her ghetto and uh, ran into the woods and, and actually uh, ran into some uh, old comrades who had set something up. Uh, but this isn't, a, you know, an optimistic story. It really is gritty about uh, the effects of uh, being a fugitive during uh, such a brutal time period and uh, what that does to your humanity, not only by being a victim, but by, uh, by committing acts of violence yourself and how, uh, you know, you should question all of these things before you lionize it all too much and sanitize it. Question number three is, what is your favorite short story collection? And I have a soft spot for the Tevye, the Dairyman um, short stories uh, as written by Sholem Alechem, although I think a lot of it is sort of holdover from the uh, musical Fiddler on the Roof. The actual short stories are a, a fair bit more depressing than the uh, more upbeat uh, musical. And yes, I'm counting Alechem, even though he uh, grew up in uh, the Russian Empire, but uh, he spent the last few years of his life here and uh, died in New York, and in fact had a really large funeral. He was pretty famous when he died. Perhaps more honestly, I really like the collection After Abel by Michal Lemberger, which I swore I owned, but I can't seem to find it anywhere. But anyway, this is a... Uh, retelling, as it were, of biblical stories where she takes on the voices of uh, the female characters in the stories, which, you know, uh, automatically just is uh, so fresh in getting that perspective. And also the stories mirror each other in the ways uh, of what these women want and desire and uh, what the world is like for them. Uh, and it, I just found it really powerful. Question number four is, who are some of your favorite short story writers? Um, I kind of want to say Allegra Goodman, but really I uh, prefer her novels more, I'm sure, although I do have a uh, soft spot for her family Moscovitz stories uh, and seeing uh, the gen generations of that uh, family, or particularly the middle generation, though. They're the most fleshed out and certainly the most of interest to her. <laughs> I should uh, get my hand on uh, that collection, I suppose. <laughs> Similarly, I have Sana Krasikov. I read um, her short story collection when it won uh, the Sammy Rohr Prize a few years ago, or actually several years ago now, and uh, that's about Soviet Jews and Soviet American Jews. But then 
her recent uh, novel, The Patriots, just kind of blew it out of the water, and that's all I really remember now. It's uh, And it's quite different, too, because it's such an expansive book, so maybe she's really better at uh, having that larger canvas. So instead, I guess I'll focus on at least one classical Jewish American writer, because um, as you might be able to tell so far, I haven't mentioned any of the uh, traditional greats like Grace Paley or Cynthia Ozick or, you know, Malamud or Bellow or Roth. <laughs> But I will mention Fanny Hurst. Uh, this is her collection of short stories. Let's see, there's her name. <laughs> uh, particularly her short stories that she wrote in the 1910s. They're a little bit longer, and I just uh, immediately fell into step with um, the young women in New York that she was writing about and how it really uh, brought that time period and that situation to life. Question number five is, do you like a particular outlet for finding short stories? Uh, like individual author collections, anthologies, or magazines? Well, I have a tradition that every year I um, buy the ebook and read um, the latest anthology of the best American short stories, and that's how I start my year. And it, uh, otherwise, uh, well, for this particular topic, I particularly find short story collections when they are advertised or reviewed on the Jewish Book Council website. And for other literary fiction stories, uh, I tend to perk up and uh, try them out if I hear them touted enough time on my, you know, online haunts like Book Riot or Booktube. Question number six is how short do you like your short stories? And for me, I like them to be on the longer side. <laughs> I like something graspable and malleable. I want basically everything that a novel might give me in terms of themes and characters and setting and just, you know, without all the subplots. <laughs> Question number seven is, what do you feel makes a good short story? And I feel like that's piggybacking on uh, the answer I just gave. I want complex characters that make me think. I want a setting that feels really believable. In general, the only thing that uh, would distinguish it for me uh, in terms of my liking it, uh, distinguishing it from a novel, would be that it has a tighter focus on the plot. And finally, question number eight is, what short story writers do you want to read more or want to begin reading? And I have more of a themed answer for this uh, rather than a specific writer, at least in terms of Jewish American writers. I want to read more collections like this one. This is Moving Waters by Rochelle Rossett. And this is a collection of short stories that takes place around a reform synagogue in L.A. And I feel like this is a uh, topic of American Judaism that we do not get a lot of focus on, on progressive religion. Uh, or I take other uh, aspects of Judaism as well, like uh, the cult, like the culturally identified Jews of today, who uh, uh, might link to the Holocaust or to Israel. But but in terms of the modern day issues surrounding it, like uh, you know the Holocaust generation dying out and what that's like uh, for the descendants of today, or uh, Israel and all of its complexities and how to uh, how people interact with the the broader world, how Jewish Americans interact with the broader world on that. More, and again, more on uh, progressive uh, Judaism, because we get a lot of, uh, you know, the Haredim, the ultra-Orthodox, but I want to see Jews that like being religious Jews, but in other settings, because actually the Reform Movement is the largest in America, so <laughs> there has to be something there. What I want to see less of is the Lena Dunham girls variety, or the Larry David Seinfeld variety of stereotypical Jews. It's those LD additions, man. I guess they don't jive with me. So that about covers it for me now. I hope you all have been enjoying your short story collections this month, and for you short story writers out there, I hope things are going well for you too. I mentioned in my recent AuthorTube video that the next thing on my docket is that I have to do some final edits to uh, the short story I have in progress because um, I wrote it for a contest and, and that window will be closing uh, sooner than I would like. <laughs> I'll be eager to see how this does because again this is a short story that I, I specifically wrote to be a short story. So we'll see how people like it. I personally think it's alright. <laughs> so yeah, thanks so much for watching everyone and I'll see you next time.